This school teacher is isolating in a tiny airplane bathroom after testing positive for COVID mid-flight. Marissa Fotio, a preschool teacher in Chicago, was flying to Iceland when she started feeling a sore throat and gave herself a rapid test. When she saw the bad news, she voluntarily stayed in that bathroom for four solid hours. I went in the bathroom and I took the test and honestly, within two seconds, there was there was two lines and I was hysterical. You were stuck in an airplane bathroom for four hours. It was honestly the best thing for my anxiety and I just wanted everyone to be safe around me. Yeah, for four hours, it was just me and my phone in the bathroom. After landing, Marissa spent a lonely Christmas quarantining in a Reykjavik hotel, and she's still there today. To lift her spirits, the flight attendant from the plane sent her gifts, including a little Christmas tree with lights. It's been a wild ride, but I'm just happy that I'm not in the hospital and that I'm safe. I'm safe. And are the masks we're wearing useless against Omicron? We should throw away these fabric masks. The, even... I've been throwing them in the garbage. Don't wear a cloth mask. Cloth masks are little more than facial decorations. Any mask will get you into stores and restaurants, but experts now say only some masks protect against the super contagious COVID strain. You can do a very quick test by uh, maybe taking a, a candle, put your mask on. If you can blow out that candle through your mask, it's probably letting aerosols through. Let's try it. First, a cloth mask. Got it. A standard surgical mask. <laughs> Can't get it. And finally, an N95 mask. <laughs> Can't get it. I don't even know if a cloth mask does anything at, at this point. Right. Can you clear this up? The CDC is concerned that people just wear a mask, any mask. Meanwhile, the CDC is under fire over the new recommendation to cut quarantine time from 10 days to five, followed by five days of wearing a mask with no insistence on a negative test. CDC Director Rochelle Walensky was taken to task over the new recommendations in a TV media blitz. Well, the CDC has been criticized for mixed messaging throughout the course of this pandemic, whether it's on masks or on boosters. Why should Americans trust the CDC? This pandemic has given us a lot of new and updated science over the last two years, and it is um, my job to convey that science through those recommendations, and that is exactly what we are doing.